My name is Krishna Shavna Das. I'm a disciple of A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, the founder of the Krishna Consciousness Movement. And I've been a disciple of Prabhupada since 1973. I joined at New Vrindavan, West Virginia. The Hare Krishna Movement is a movement to, to make all the people of the world happy. And it's, 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 it's different from other religions because it's based on on the scriptures, Bhagavad Gita, and it's, it's been practiced since time immemorial. Whereas other, other faiths like Christianity, Buddhism, Islam, Judaism, they all have a beginning and an end in, 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 in the annals of history. But uh, you, you cannot trace the beginning of Krishna consciousness because Lord Krishna spoke the Bhagavad Gita to the Sun God 120 million years ago. And, and even before that, it was known on other planets. So this Krishna consciousness movement is going on all over the universe, not just this planet. And it, it's a movement to uh, re revive our relationship with God, because we are not these material bodies, we're actually soul. And the, the modern civilization is misdirected because the modern education system is based on a false premise that I'm this body, but we're not these bodies, we're soul. And, and the soul is within every body, within the heart. I needed us. Um, I came to Krishna Consciousness when I was 18, 19. Um, my brother gave me the Bhagavad Gita and I read it and made complete sense like about karma, reincarnation, like how to find real happiness, etc. So I started reading more and then I started visiting the temples in Sweden and then I came to the United States to take my bachelor. Um, then I took my master's and then I graduated in August and then I moved to this temple. So he has saffron. Mm -hmm. That means he's a brahmacharya, he's like a full-time, um, no marriage, just completely dedicated to God. And then um, you have like white cloth, which means that um, you're either married or you're working outside. So they're like temple devotees, and then you have like householders, people who are married, who have children, but they practice Krishna consciousness. This is founded by Trivikram Swami five years ago, and the deities here were formally installed five years ago. And formally, he was preaching in Japan, Poland, England, and he's been 
a long time disciple of A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. sacred clay from India and we mark the body to sing, um, indicate that this is a temple of God so it signifies like when you, that we have it on 12 places on the body forehead and then so it signifies like that this is a sacred the body is sacred The Hare Krishna movement is based on the Vedas Veda means knowledge and in the Vedas it is stated that there are 8,400,000 species of life and this human form of life is a rare opportunity because in the human form of life God has given us a brain whereas we can understand God but in the animal species and plant species there's no opportunity to understand God and the human form of life is especially meant for this purpose and if we miss this opportunity there's a great danger of going down to the lower species of life and becoming a tree or an animal We, we practice the follow the four regulatory principles um, no meat eating, no illicit sex, no intoxication, no gambling and then we chant 16 rounds on um, beats, japa, the Hare Krishna mantra um, we usually do it for one year and then we try to find a guru that can initiate us okay so the mantra is uh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So these names are non different from God. So God is absolute, meaning He's non different from His name, past, and etc. It's like if you're in the desert and you chant, if you're really thirsty and you're chanting water, 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 it's not going to satisfy you, right? Because the name is different from the substance water. But Krishna is non different from His name. So when we're chanting, we're actually associating with Krishna. But we can't directly perceive it. But the more we chant, the gradually become purified and we can see. God face to face and we can revive our original position. First one has to understand that this material world is full of miseries, there's no happiness here. And to find real happiness, we have to understand our relationship with God. Because every relationship we have, either with our husband or our wife or family, that's all temporary. These bodies are temporary, and in the course of time, all these relationships will be broken. But if you understand the relationship with God, that relationship goes on eternally. And everybody, in all species of life, has a relationship with God. The basic principle is to want to others as you would have them do unto you, and not to cause violence to anybody. And the Bible says, Thou shalt not kill. So well, we don't kill animals. We don't t t take uh, <coughs> chicken or, or fish or, or, or meat or eggs because this causes violence to, to, to other living beings, which is a sin. So, so we have like services at 5 a.m. Um, we greet the deities, we chant, and then we have a japa period, we have like mantra meditation, and we do that for an hour or so, and then um, we have like different services, like university preaching, uh, taking care of the garden, uh, cooking, uh, being on the altar, etc.
This is Aaron Berger, Meredith Mellon, Julie Lampton, coming at you for Harry Krishna, East Khan, Orlando. God.